Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a special spirit reading message that I'm getting blown away that they're having me do. These two major arcanas just came out in the reading right before the world and the star and they're saying we're definitely going into next chapters, uh, a new world, so to speak, and the world we're stronger and more resilient for it. And we are to embody the star, um, the part of the hope and the healing, whatever you're doing, whatever you're outpouring. So to stay aligned to that. So this is quite literally, I say it's a special spirit reading message because when I get a, sp a spirit message and then I'm pulling cards to support that clear spirit message, I call it special because after that reading, they said, this is to further support you, how, how you can believe in yourself more for these next chapters, how you can believe in yourself more for these next chapters. And I almost had to compose myself because that's a very overwhelming thing. How can you believe in yourself more as the star in this next chapter, in this next world, in this, we're all going for the new and the next chapters. How can you believe in yourself more? Because this star literally says, you know, believe in yourself over and over again, believe in yourself. And here's Archangel Michael that's making us feel stronger and more resilient to rise up and believe in yourself. It's calling on us to believe more in ourselves. It's almost like taking everything we're made of um, to, to get up and rise up again and again, like the star are um, to use everything you're made of for whatever you're doing to make things better for yourself and others. So a very clear message is in for this next chapter, for the new, how can we believe more in ourselves? And they got me to, we're going to get messages from this side of divine spirit messages for our divine spirit and the real divine self-care that, that we can do that can help us support believing more in ourselves along the way for these next chapters. So this is very clear and then I'll just see what else I'm guided to. But um, so I'm leaving this right here. So this is quite literally how to believe more in yourself for these next chapters that we're going into. So let's start with the real divine self-care. What can we do that could help us believe more in ourselves for the, oh gosh, right away. Wow. You are constantly growing, evolving, and expanding. So recognize and honor your progress. So right here, we're rising as a star. You're constantly growing, evolving, and expanding. So recognize and honor your progress. We're all in a state of expansion here. Um, you should be on your own side with that. So it's like recognize and honor your progress. You're evolving, you're growing, you're expanding. Recognize, honor your progress. Be on your own side, your own support system. Always take real divine self-care of yourself all along the way. It's leading to that message. You have to be on your own side. Take real divine self-care of yourself all along the way. So if you're in your star power, you feel uh, something shifting in your energy. You have to notice and take real divine self-care of yourself all along the way. Pay real close attention to your energy is going to be really important. Okay. Always take real divine self-care of yourself as you're growing, as you're expanding. Be there on your own side. Know you always have divine love and support. See the signs and feel the love. And right next door, right here, is Archangel Michael, the world. As we're going into these next chapters, you be there for yourself. And you also know you have this. You have divine love support. See the signs and feel the love. You are the star here doing the outpouring of chills, chills, chills. Look at the illumination. You know you're always connected. You're always being guided. You're listening to all your clairs. You're not doing it alone. Here he is. So... For these next chapters, you feel the love support backing. They're making you stand up for yourself to be, always take real divine self care of yourself as a, a, a message has been coming through for like the last year. And then at the same time, you know you always have that divine love support backing. See the signs and feel the love. Through all your clairs, you can be getting signs, symbols, messages. Don't discount anything that shows up in your life. Spirit uses everything. If you see repeating things going on in your life, synchronicity, you feel guided, you feel nudged, you follow through. Um, I always say you're like a divine high priestess at work. See the signs, feel the love. You're going to need to feel this love support backing to stay in your star power, um, to stay aligned. So you're going to be on your own side and you also want to be aligned that you're feeling the love the whole time. So you're divinely connected the whole time right? So you're there for yourself, providing real divine self-care. You're honoring that you're growing, you're expanding right now. Recognize, honor your, your process, your progress, and you know you have love support backing. Um, that's helping you for the next chapters, the new chapters. Let's go right into divine spirit, what they're seeing now for these next chapters. 
you're getting very clear. This is going to be very quick to the point. These next chapters for these new beginnings, how to believe more in yourself. So definitely honor your growing, your expanding, your evolving. Always take real divine self-care of yourself. Pay real close attention if there are occurring message, your time, your purpose, your energy, your mind, your heart. Your divine outpouring needs to be where you're planted now. So, you know, use your resources wisely. If you feel a shift in your energy, pay attention. Be on your own side. Provide yourself. Fill your cup if you need it. You know, you're the outpouring. You have to fill your cup. And know you always have divine love and support. So see the signs and feel the love. is going to be so important that you feel that love backing support. Um, that you're one with that as you go forward in these new chapters for the new. And you're going to feel divinely supported. But there's an emphasis on taking real divine self-care of yourself. And it involves so much that I've talked about already in previous readings that I don't want to keep repeating myself. But this is exactly what you should keep in mind. You be on your own side. You know you have love, support, backing, signs, symbols, messages. And you are in a state of growing, evolving, expanding. So recognize and honor. And recognize and honor along the way what that feels like. You know, when you're growing, expanding, Along the way, you're going to need to take real divine self-care of yourself along the way, and it could change form. You may need more rest. You may, may need more fun. You may need more time alone. You may need, you know, provide, listen to what you don't compare yourself to other people. It's been a recurring message um, to stay aligned. You're the star. Stay aligned and to have your cup filled and be present in the moment for what you're supposed to be doing, um, you're gonna have to take real divine self-care of yourself. It could be sleep, rest, recharge, regroup, um, whatever it is um, to stay in alignment. It's gonna be really important to really be aware of that. Um, there are no words for what I'm getting and know that you always have divine love and support. So see the signs and feel the love. That's where you wanna be aligned to also that you're always feeling that for the next chapters in you because it's gonna give you the courage. It's gonna make you feel powerful to rise up again and again as the star you are. It's, um, it's like infusing you with divine power to stand up, to be strong, to carry on, to feel infused, to feel at one with that. So the real divine spirit messages for these next chapters is trust the path you are on now. Trust the path you are on now. No matter what it feels like, no matter what it looks like, no matter what's going on in the physical, trust the path you are on now is going to help you feel that love support backing as we go into these next chapters. So trust the path you are on now. I have chills, chills, chills. This is a long path here. Whatever you're doing, you're connected and trust what you're doing is right on path. It's going to be huge because when you don't feel that, it's very easy to feel overwhelmed. You feel lost. You feel you're not at purpose, but you are. They're saying, trust the path you are on now. Let that supersede anything else you're telling yourself or feeling. And we're getting trust the process. Do you see that? I mean, trust the path you are on now and trust the process. So no matter what it's looking like, feeling like, you remain the star aligned no matter what. This has been a recurring message, like no matter what, no matter what it takes, no matter how long it's taking, no matter what the process, no matter what the path is looking like to you with your physical eyes and ears, you just stay connected. You know you ha always have divine love support. So you see the signs and feel the love and you feel encouraged. You feel calm. You feel at peace. You can trust the path you're on. You can trust the process. It will show up in various ways to make you feel like, yes, you're right on path. You know, they're showing up, you're recognizing the signs of synchronicities because they're giving you the peace, the comfort, the love, the, the support, that no matter what it looks like to you with your eyes and ears, you are at the right place, the divine time and place, right? Trust on the path you're on now. If you, right in that moment, if you've received something, it bathes you and because you know in a deep sense you are right where you are supposed to be it discounts everything you've been feeling and holding in your heart and mind trust the path you are on now trust the process you're you have divine love support see the signs feel the love that's where it's showing up to give you that peace that you're right on path trust the process along the way of that process take real divine self care of yourself all along the way the times when they're not giving you signs symbols messages you feel a shift in your energy be there for yourself Always take real divine self-care, answer your own needs, what your heart is, you know, what your, your child, your inner child is screaming for at the moment. Is it peace? Is it comfort? Is it to calm down? You know, all these things. And to know you're in a state of growing, expanding, recognize, honor your progress all along the path. Trust the process throughout the entire path and process. Always look at yourself with kind eyes, the way that they're looking at you with love and kindness and compassion. Sometimes we're so much harder on ourselves. We are beating ourselves up. We have the, what we mull around in our hearts and minds, we would never say out loud. 
to honor, to truly honor and recognize your progress, you're, we're constantly growing and evolving and expanding. And to bring all this into this new world, new, new, like new chapter, what we're going to be doing is we're coming from a more expanded, growing, honor your progress, everything it's taking to bring you there. Trust the path you're on now. Trust the process. Be there more for yourself as we face the new, as we're going to these next chapters. Don't let the old things sap your power or dwindle your star power energy because we're all needed for these next chapters. We're all needed to do the work. Um, so the more that we can trust the path and the process and honor ourselves and recognize our progress and take real divine self-care along the way and know you have love support backing, see the signs and feel the love, the more empowered we are and aligned to this. And this is how they want us to be in this new chapter. Like when we're going in this new in this new chapter, they want us to remain in this energy, aligned to a star energy, right? So it takes a lot to be that way and you will be guided on what to do. You're gonna be guided on what to do. You're gonna be guided on what to do. So they're literally saying through this whole process, trust the path you are on now, trust, trust the path you are on now, trust the process, you will be guided on what to do. So if you don't know A to Z, don't worry. Just don't worry. You're you're getting it all through your clairs. What you can do in the meantime here, you're consciously growing, evolving, expanding, recognizing on your progress. We're going to new chapters to the new. Take real divine self-care of yourself along this way and know you're always have divine love and support. See the signs and feel the love beyond this reading. So along the path and the process, you're going to get guided. Absolutely. You're going to get nudges. You're going to get signs, symbols, messages that no matter how long it's taking, you just override it with trusting the path you are now. Trust the process. You're going to be guided all along the way. So stay aligned to that. They want us to believe more in ourselves for these next chapters. Um, don't fill the spaces with fear or doubts. Like if you can't see on this path, you just trust the path. If you're starting to not believe in yourself or knocking yourself, trust the process. You're, you're growing, you're evolving, you're expanding, honor your progress, honor yourself. And if you're starting to fear fears, doubts, because you're in the dark of what next moves to make, you just take real divine self care of yourself. Signs, symbols, messages are gonna show up. Feel the love, you're gonna be guided on what to do. I mean, they're making it really, really clear. There's something about negating this fear, doubt, when we step into new worlds here, um, to believe more in yourself all along the way. Like, how can you answer it back is what I kind of just provided um, to stay here. It's like, no, I'm connected. I'm connected to the divine and I can step in and I can trust the path, trust the process, feel guided, um, honor that I'm growing, evolving, expanding, taking really divine self-care of myself and know I have signs, symbols, messages showing me all along the way. We're going to be guided. They want me to tap into real divine abundance. So there's something about in this next chapter, believing more in ourselves all along the way with every move that we're making as we're doing the work wherever you are, um, you stay divinely connected. If you're more risen up in this power or aligned to this, trusting the path, trusting the process, feeling guided on what to do, taking real divine self-care of yourself, feeling back by the signs, symbols, messages you're getting, taking real divine self-care of yourself if you need to fill your cup, if you've expended too much out, you need to recharge or whatever it takes to honor that. In this new world next chapter, this is how they want us to go forward. And also they kept on saying real divine self-care and real divine abundance are on the same track. Real divine self-care and real divine abundance are on the same track. So if you want to bring in more supporting yourself going forward on this new chapter, um, new world, we're going to, it all feels like a next chapter. How to believe more in yourself going forward. <coughs> Take real divine self-care of yourself and stay aligned to real divine abundance. Trusting the path, trusting the process, staying open, being there for yourself, um, providing real divine self-care. They're saying it's you'll be more tapped into real divine abundance. We're not sapping our power, negating this, fearing this, doubting this. We're not that takes power away from star power away from us. No, we're you we're there's no vocabulary words for this. They want us to rise up aligned higher to real divine abundance, no matter what we're getting in the physical. Okay, so here's real divine abundance that will help us fill the gaps. Give me the vocabulary of what they're trying to give me here. So here's real divine abundance that they want us to stay connected to. Okay, so we're getting 
No, what you say no to is also saying yes to something else and usually to even better. And that's what I feel this reading is. So say we're saying it's dark. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then you start doubting, fearing. It, it multiplies on itself. No, I'm saying here, negate it with trust the path you're on now, supersede it, trust the process. You're gonna be guided on what to do. The confidence of that, that's taking real divine self care of yourself, stepping up. So you know what to say no to. Um, and know that what you say no to is actually saying yes to something else and usually to even better. So it's like, first of all, have proper boundaries of what you're allowing in and out of your life has been a recurring message, the power of your decisions, but also the power of what you're saying to yourself and what you're believing to be true. Um, what are you allowing to sap your energy, your star power? What are you saying no to? What you say no to is actually saying yes to something else and it's usually even to something better. So if you're standing there, it's like you could say yes to taking real divine self-care of yourself. You can say yes that you're trusting the path, the process, you're being guided. You can say yes to real divine self-care. You can say, you know, if you say no to something that's sapping your energy, you're actually saying, yes, I'm taking real divine self-care of myself. It's just really interesting. It's what they want us to own, part of our divine power for the next chapter. You know, no, really, as the star, what you say no to is actually saying yes to something else, and it's usually the even better. And right now, we're saying yes to something better in this next chapter. So there's a lot that was worked on us of what we allow, what do we what do we allow in our lives, the proper boundaries, the what we need to really take divine self-care of ourselves is actually on the same track as real divine abundance. There's something about this next chapter, new world, that the importance of what we say no and yes to has really been worked on with us. There are almost no words for what I'm saying. Yes, cheer yourself on now to victories. No need to wait for others' approval or acceptance. This is huge. This is why they're saying that that if you're a star, you have to have profound, real divine self-care all along the way. No joke. Always take real divine self-care of yourself. They're saying honor that you're growing, evolving, expanding. You know, honor your progress. Cheer yourself on. Be your own cheerleader. As much as you feel love, support, backing, or messages, or support from the divine, or um, through your prayers and everything else, but you have to be your own cheerleader. I say that all the time. We have to be our own cheerleaders on our own side, is what they always say. And that's been really worked on. So on these next chapters, new worlds, what we're going for, cheer yourself on now to victories. There is no need to wait for others' approval or acceptance. No, no, no. You are there for yourself cheering yourself on and you have love support backing to do that more for yourself now also it helps keep you as the star you have to be on your own side cheering yourself on now to victories in this new world new chapters how can you believe more in yourself start cheering yourself on being your own cheerleader no need to wait for others approval or acceptance we're saying no to that saying yes to something even better we don't even have to hold out for that you don't need someone else's approval or acceptance to rise up in your you know, cheering yourself on to for the new, for the new victories. And we're getting, you can move mountains of obstacles with planning and action now. Yes, like they're singing. That's what they're saying. Our star power, our outpouring, wherever you are, staying divinely connected and rising up with the full cups and you're doing your outpouring wherever you are. You're part of the hope and the healing, whatever you're doing in your personal or your work. Every time you extend your love, your intentions, your work, your everything. You're part of the hope and the healing of making things better, the ends of difficult situations. You're removing, you can move mountains. You can move mountains of obstacles with this planning and action now. So you have to be in your power. So we have to be on our own side. We can't let the old things take our power away from moving mountains of obstacles. Like they said in another reading, we had Ganesha come out with remover of obstacles. And they made it very clear. Yes, they're helping us move mountains of obstacles, but we're part of moving obstacles. We're part of having to be strong and resilient and doing the work to remove the obstacles. Um, we're part of removing the obstacles. They, like they said, we're part of the medicine. We're part of the healing. We're part of the hope. We're part of whatever you're outpouring. You can move mountains of obstacles with planning and action now. So yeah, cheer yourself on to victories. Be on your own side, providing that backing, love, support, divine self-care. Do you hear the ambulance in the background? We have to take care of ourselves and you have divine support, love, you know, feel the signs and the love all along the way, but no doubt about it. So they're saying, be very careful. What you're saying no to, you're also actually saying yes to something 
else and it's usually even better and that's for the next chapter we're saying yes to better so cheer yourself on down to victories no need to wait for others approval or acceptance you can move mountains of obstacles with planning and action now and this is the backing they have for us to stay in our star power for these next chapters to believe in yourself more for these next chapters to trust the path you are on now trust the you can't make this up trust the path you are on now trust the process you will be guided on what to do and you have confidence in that that's that's part of cheering yourself on to new victory staying in that alignment i have chills all over myself that I, I, I can't hardly even deal with this let's end it with pure love from spirit there was a clear reason for this reading to feel so pumped and supported going for these next chapters to really honestly to believe more in yourself um, that's the love. When you talk about love, support, backing, it's like they show us signs, symbols, and messages, but the love they infuse us to carry, to, they can't be here 24 seven. We have to, you know how I say, hold your light, hold your light as the star. You can cheer yourself on now to victories. No need to wait for others approval or acceptance to know this, even if they're not showing up literally, like we're being directly fed right now, but we have to hold that when they're not directly feeding us through something. Uh, be the star in your life 24 seven. If you feel it's starting to dwindle, you stand up and honor your progress. You go and take divine self care of yourself. You cheer yourself on to victories, um, you know, to feed yourself, fill your cup again. So we gotta stay this way. They're saying we're moving mountains of obstacles with the, with the planning and action now. Cheer yourself on to victories. Um, I love this. Know that what you're saying no to is actually saying yes to something better. So something better in this next chapter. Yes, yes, yes. So we've been really worked on for this to really come into this. Uh, it's a higher wisdom and love and support that not just they're giving us and guidance and everything and we're following it through all our clears, but they're making us do that for ourselves. So it's like inside and out. It's um, there almost no words for what I'm getting. It's like demanding, it's demanding real divine self care. It really is um, because we have to do it. <laughs> we have to move these mountains of obstacles with planning and action. We have to cheer ourselves on. We are saying yes to something even better for these new chapters. Let's get end it with pure love from spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Pure love from spirit. How to believe in yourself more for your next chapters. And this is totally pumping us up to stay that way. And it is a 24-7 job. So that's why real divine self-care is so important because you kind of have to be that... What is it when you jump off like a trampoline and you land? What is that thing that you land in? We have to be that for ourselves. That, what is, it's not a trampoline, but what do you fall on? Oh gosh, someone help me. If you're, on a tra if you're a trapeze artist and then you fall, you have to be your own, whatever that net is for yourself. So you spring back up. Um, that's what they're giving me visually. So I don't know what that is. We have to do that for ourselves. We keep rising up again and again and again. It's like 24 seven. It's, Okay, yes, yes, they're saying yes, yes. We are helping you. We are helping you. We love you. How much, I have chills. You will be guided on what to do. We are helping you. You know you always have divine love and support. See the signs and feel the love. We are helping you. Yes, 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 we love you. I have chills everywhere. There's so much love coming through here. It's why I'm even doing this reading. I mean, feel the love. See the signs and feel the love. We love you, yes. And that's helping you to stay in, in this energy. We want you to go for it. Yes, you can move mountains of obstacles. We're part of moving obstacles with action. So to be that star, so cheer yourself on. Yes, 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 they love you. They want you to go for it. They're helping you through. We're, aha, you can't make this up we will help you through it yes they're helping you through the obstacles the mountains of obstacles we hear you i have chills when i get this i feel we've been getting this i have chills i can hardly speak i feel like they hear us right this minute like me talking right now you are heard has come out in three readings back to back in various cards no matter what deck i say whatever you're thinking whatever is in your heart they hear you they hear us right now they hear you you've got to hear that you are heard you are heard you are heard you are heard they usually send signs symbols messages so feel the love so whenever you don't even have to say out loud whatever you're thinking in your mind and heart they're so around you will be guided on what to do they hear you they're helping you through it so whenever you need it you are the star whenever you feel like you're in a journey path and you're not sure you stay connected you're gonna get signs and those messages all around they're giving us everything to stay this way um oh my gosh they hear us they hear us we will help you through it um i have chills i'm gonna have to end this reading they want one more 
message, but this is why I'm doing this reading, honestly, because for these next chapters, believe more in yourself. Believe more in yourself and be there for yourself more. Yes, we will help you see the way forward. They're helping us see the way forward. And that's why I'm doing this reading and I've chose everywhere. This is how to see the way forward. You're gonna be guided on what to do. Trust the path, trust the process. You're gonna see the way forward. Just like I kept on saying, you're the star. There's something about that, that it, sometimes it feels very dark, very lonely, but you will see the way forward. They're gonna help you through it. They hear you, they give you signs, symbols, messages. They want you to continue to go for it. So cheer yourself on to now to new victories. There's no need to wait for others' approval or acceptance. You are moving mountains of obstacles with planning and action. Know what to say, that what you say no to is saying yes to something else and it's better. And this is all for the new world. Next chapters, believe more in yourself. Be on your own side. You're growing, expanding. Take real divine self-care all along the way. You know you always have divine love support backing. See the signs, feel the love. Hold that love when you don't. You're going to be guided on what to do. Trust the entire path and process. That's what they want us to supersede whatever we're getting in the physical. Just trust the path you are on now. Trust the process. You're being guided on what to do. We're moving mountains of obstacles. Just cheer yourself on now to victories. We're going for the next chapters, the new things now. They want you to believe more in yourself all along the way. And this was supportive spirit messages for that clear, 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 clear message that we will help you see the way forward. We love you. We want you to go forward. It. We will help you through it. We hear you. We're helping you. They sure are helping you. They sure are helping us. I almost can't even. Should I get one more? I feel like just one more. I'm so moved and um, I'm going to have to watch this back myself because I'm almost like close to tears with the amount of love that's trying to come through here to make us feel this way, to really believe in yourself for these next chapters and for the new. And this time around, cheer yourself on the victories. This time around, really provide that real divine self-care for yourself. This time around, no matter what's happening, you don't fill in the gaps with fear, doubt, and, and all of that, that you're there for yourself as much as they try to show up with signs, symbols, and messages for yourself and to feel guided. Yeah, because look, we know how you feel like goosebumps and we are supporting you. You have to know that like through this whole entire journey that they're supporting you all through they do know how you feel that's why they say you're heard it, you don't even have to say it out loud and why they they feel what we feel why I even do these readings is to feel that level of support all along the way um, so this is for all of us my mind is blown actually this is to how to oh my gosh how to go forward right now um, yeah oh gosh this just followed this just yeah, it just said your heart is lighting the way forward. Um, something just uh, flipped over on the side here. There's a lot of support, love, backing. Keep, like I always say, sign symbols, messages will show up in your everyday. Don't discount anything that you get along your path that feeds your soul, that makes you feel connected and supported and showing you the way forward um, and helps you even stay in that alignment. Um, and be there for yourself all along the way. So this is all about how to really believe more in yourself all, all along the way to these next chapters, new worlds, to really trust the path you're on, trust the process, to know that you're guided and to be there for yourself, backing yourself just as much as they're loving and supporting and backing yourself and cheer yourself on now to victories. You're definitely being supported. You're moving mountains of obstacles with planning and action. They're helping you see all the way through forward and through it all supporting you and it's just gorgeous so i wish you all the best and um yeah going forward for next chapters believe more in yourself all along the way and i cheer you on to victories as well take care bye bye